Hey guys, it's Tom and today is going to be a bit of a rant because I want to talk about prestige which has been a little bit of a controversial topic I must say. So let's just first describe what prestige is. Basically recently mod Jack, I believe, I'm probably getting that wrong, they recently released a dev, a dev blog about this prestige idea that they had to sort of put it to the players and see whether they liked the idea or not. And they also made a poll, voting, uh, letting people vote on whether they wanted the system or not. An overwhelming 60% of people did not want this system. So let me tell you what it is. It's basically infinitely leveling up through levels 1 to 99 over and over again. And each time you get to level 99, you can reset back to level 1, which increases your prestige for that skill. And each prestige increases the amount of XP required for each level by 100% of the original amount. The original amount being the amount that we currently need. So, for example, the current system that we have now, which is without prestige, would sort of count as prestige 0 and level 99 requires 13 million experience. So your first prestige would increase that amount required to 26 million XP, because that's 13 plus another 13 mil. So then you, if you prestige again, which would be your second prestige, the amount required for 99 would increase to 39 mil XP, because that's 26 mil plus the, another 13 mil. And then the third, third prestige would be 52 mil, because that's adding another 13 mil, and so on and so forth. And once you've reset your prestige, and you're still a low level, but you want to go bossing or something, you can temporarily revert back to level 99 in order to do that content, so you're not just stuck at a low level. But then, if you turn your prestige off temporarily, you won't gain any XP towards your prestige. So you might be thinking, why the hell would I want to continuously go through level 1 to 99 over and over again? That just sounds really boring. Well, to you it might be, but to others it might be quite a good thing. It's basically to shuffle up the high scores again, and I think it's Jagex's sort of master plan to try and get people to stay subscribed and keep playing. It gives maxed players something else to do and to keep people playing, essentially. Prestige would sort the high scores by the number of times that a player has maxed out and prestiged in all skills. So you can't just get a really high prestige by spamming a few really easy and quick skills. You have to train all skills over and over again to be mega competitive. Currently nobody has a really good fighting chance at being in the top 20 unless someone already there decides to unsubscribe or something. The people already there are, in the top 20 that is, are so far ahead of everyone else and I guess Jagex just wants to give newer people more of a fighting chance. And also this prestige system would bring cosmetic titles emotes and various clothing overrides like from the Solomon store to show off your prestige accomplishments. Um, if you're not so bothered about ranks then this system shouldn't really bother you. Now now that the explanation is out of the way of what the system is, let me tell you why I hate the, the RuneScape community. So, because 60% of people voted no, and I voted yes for this system, I was quite surprised by this, so I wandered over to the forums to get some insight as to why people were voting against this. Now, here comes the part why I'm so annoyed about it. I'm all for people disagreeing with me if they raise a good point, I like to think of myself as fairly open-minded and willing to change my opinion based on the arguments and ed evidence that I'm presented with, because that's kind of part of being a rational person. But reading the feedback on the forums just made me quite angry. 
Here are the only main reasons I could find from people who didn't want this system. It was either they didn't want to lose their current rank, which could be a valid point in certain situations, but I found that most people that said this were sort of recently maxed or just, and just didn't want to put any more effort in into having a decent rank. And the other argument was that people don't want the game to feel like it's completely just endless and it's just infinitely going. These arguments do not make me not want the prestige system. If we're going to worry about ranks, then I think the only people who are allowed to worry about ranks are those who are dead serious and are already somewhat high up on the high scores. If you've only just maxed recently, or you're like rank 10 or 20,000 overall or whatever, and you're worrying about losing your rank, just think about it, okay? With the current high scores, surely you must realise at this point you've got no chance of making like the top 20. Surely you must realise, if you're like dead serious about ranks, then and you're willing to work for it, if that's the case, then you must realise why the prestige system would be a much better option for you at this point. You could be so much more competitive, because it's effectively like a high scores reset. You should be foaming at the mouth and jizzing your pants for this kind of opportunity, if you want high ranks because currently you're at a quite massive disadvantage. Secondly, those who are worrying about the game being literally endless, come on, you're playing an MMO. The business model is based upon your continuous subscription, and pretty much all MMOs are designed to be endless, which is why they bring out so many updates all the time to keep you going, and they have lots of grindy systems that are designed to occupy you for a long time. I think a lot of people were trying to make out that it would sort of promote unhealthy playing habits, and people who don't have the time to play RuneScape 12 hours a day would be at a disadvantage. Firstly, if you don't have that time to put in to RuneScape, like any normal person, I guess, then I don't know why you want to be a high rank. Because surely you must realise that the amount of time and dedication it takes to be a high rank on RuneScape, it's, it's okay to not want to be number one at everything. You can still enjoy the game without having to sink 12 hours a day into it. I, I just really don't understand this mentality. You're clearly playing the wrong game if you care that much about being high rank but don't want to put in the time required for it. RuneScape is just a grindy game by nature and that's okay. Pick something more skill-based if you want to be the best at something, but don't have that much time, necessarily. Okay, at this point I think it might be useful to point out why I think the prestige system would be good for the game. Firstly, it would help out the economy. Demand for skill supplies would potentially shoot up through the roof, depending on how many people actually care about the prestige system while also taking a lot of supplies out of the game by those people who are using the supplies to gain more prestige. The demand would be continuous instead of just stopping once you hit 99, and a lot of people have 99s these days already, there's no denying that, so naturally that just sort of lowers demand for skill supplies. Also there would be more money sinks, sort of, Things like construction and summoning would continuously suck a lot more money out of the game, which I think we can all agree is kind of needed at this point. There could also be an arbitrary fee for resetting your prestige if that's not enough. And it would also get people doing all sorts of lower level content again. 
because prestiges would gradually get longer and longer and longer and over time you would start to see people camping for quite a while at like mid-level content because you'd need like a million, two million, ten million XP just to get like level 60 or something, I don't know. And that would sort of spread people out across the world a bit more and that would be a more inspiring site for newer players rather than just everywhere being deserted except the, the living rock caverns or whatever. If people really are so bothered about ranks but and don't want to have to sink in loads of hours into the game in order to get those ranks then I think the best solution would be for Jagex to consider adding skills to the seasonal high scores that way people would have an incentive to train hard but they wouldn't necessarily have to like spend a year of their life playing 12 hours a day or whatever and people could newer players could still be very competitive in that regard i don't think that system would keep people playing long term though which is what the prestige system could have potentially done the only reason i'm so annoyed about this at the minute is because it got shot down with literally no good arguments that I've seen. Maybe you guys are a bit smarter and can enlighten me on this and tell me what you think in the comments. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.